The break and continue statement. A break statement in a loop causes it to immediately exit the entire loop structure, and a continue statement in a loop causes it to exit the current loop iteration and evaluate the expression for the next loop iteration. And you should try to avoid using break and continue statements in your looping structures because it makes your program hard to read and to debug. So you should try to design your loop in a way that it doesn't require them at all. But if you did need to use them, let's see how you would use them. In this program, I'm going to ask the user to enter numbers and we're going to try some division. So let's create a scanner object. read data from the keyboard, import scanner from java.util, ask the user to enter two numbers, enter number one, and we'll store that as int number one is keyboard.nextint, and let's do the same thing and create a number two. So I'm going to copy and paste this to number two. Number two is keyboard.nextint. So now let's try to divide these numbers. System.out.println number one divided by number two is Number one divided by number two. So there's no looping structures in here yet. I'm going to add one, and there's, and then once I do, we'll test out break and continue. So enter number one, six. Number two is three. Six divided by three is two. Okay, it works great. So let's wrap this around a do while statement. We'll do this while. Let's just stick true in there to make this loop forever. Let me fix my indentation by doing a control A, control I in Eclipse. It quickly fixes my indentation for the do while. So let me add a colon right here, the clarity. And now let's try this program and see how it works. Program is running. Enter number one. I'm going to enter six and number two is three and six divided by three is two then the program just loops again automatically eight divided by two and that's four and nine divided by zero and oh the program crashed and i got an arithmetic ex exception because i tried to divide by zero so what we could do is rather than dividing by zero we could check if number two is equal to zero what we could do is break. Now what's going to happen, it's going to completely exit the do while loop even though this is a forever loop. And just to make sure that it exits the loop, I'm going to print out system.out.println the end. So now let's try it out and see what happens using the break statement. Enter negative 1, it's 9, divided by 3, it's 9 divided by 3 is 3, okay, let's try it again. 9 divided by 0 and the end. Program completely terminated and it broke out of the entire loop structure. But if you didn't want to break out of the loop structure and you just wanted to go to the next loop iteration to start again, you can replace break with the continue statement instead. Continue. And it's just going to go to the next loop iteration rather than terminate. Oops. And I got an error. And I'm getting unreachable code. And the reason that's unreachable code is because I'm stuck inside of a, an infinite loop. So it never th it thinks it's never going to end. So maybe we can just limit this to just loop 10 times. Pull zero. I plus plus. While I is less than 10. So that unreachable code error went away. Stop and rerun the program again. So enter number one. Let's see, nine 
divided by 3 just to make sure it works and we get 3. So now let's do 8 divided by 0 and it, it didn't even give me the answer, it just did another loop iteration and started over from the beginning and now it's telling me to start over. So 6 divided by 2 is 3 and so on. So that is the difference between break and continue. Break will exit out of that loop completely. Continue will stop that current loop iteration and go to the very next loop iteration and start over again.